hello dear students and once again i welcome you all to the course on kinematics and theory of machines okay, in the previous classes we have discussed about the various kind of and say basics with respect to different mechanism like links where what is link what is pair kinematic chain and what is mechanism machine versus engine mechanism versus structure like when we will be calling a linkage as kind of mechanism when to use the appropriate word as uh, machine and all so all those things and how basically they are behave okay so those things already we have discussed how uh, like and different types of pairs based on relative motion etc etc various kind of things we have already discussed so uh, today we are going to discuss about like what is planar mechanism and what is space mechanism or spatial mechanism so in that particular case in this particular figure, first figure A, you can see, you can see a four-bar mechanism. So here, as we have already discussed, this is the fixed position. Okay, this is the fixed link, fixed link, like base. Uh, and this with this kind of action line, I have said that we discuss or we denote the fixed link. So here, how many links we have? All the fixed link we have to number with the same number because the uh, for the fixed position for other links with respect to the fixed position it is always the relative motion is same only okay so here also it is fixed here also it is fixed okay so we can consider as if this is the whole link okay that way also sometimes it can be drawn it is the same thing okay so now here it is showing it's fixed okay here it is showing as fixed so fixed always we number as with the same number we generally number it with one so initially you just find out like uh, whatever in the previous classes we have discussed with respect to that only we are discussing so in these fixed positions you can number them one then you can see there is another link there is this link this is another link okay so this is how we can do so. now this particular forward link is okay uh, here we can draw this like this also okay so then also it will mean the same thing here also i can see only this fix this is the fix okay or we can show like this the whole thing is kind of fixed link okay so now coming back to the our point like what is plane mechanism or planar mechanism and what is space or spatial mechanism so in this figure a what you can see is so the all the points okay whenever this link suppose o to a this moves with respect to this movement we can expect other movement on the other links like a b b o4 etc okay so now and this this all those links okay this particular links are actually joined with what these are the hinges or the pin joint hinge joint or pin joint so they constitute revolute pair okay that means this link and this link they are joined with this particular hinge h i n this is a hinge joint okay or you can say another word is pin joint so joint is pin joint and what they, they constitute they constitute revolute pair or turning pair okay and now in this particular case what is plane mechanism so in this case you can see that as they are uh, like paired with revolute pair and this in case of plane mechanism all the points on the mechanism they move in parallel planes okay and similarly in the figure b you can say this is an example of hooks joint later on we'll be discussing in details so you can see that the different uh, uh, like different points or different positions on the mechanism they are there in three different at different different locations that means they are not in parallel planes okay the position they are oriented in different different planes okay so this axis you can see this axis along this axis okay so in this particular case this portion this portion etc they are not on same parallel plane so here this is this particular mechanism it's a planar mechanism because all the points on if wherever link you can consider here 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 so during movement they will move in parallel planes okay and in the second case special mechanism they are not going to move in the parallel planes they are all the axis we can consider and everywhere they can have the movement okay it's like that so next 
already we have discussed about higher pair lower pair so in the previous case this constitutes this because of this hinge join or pin join okay they are having surface contact okay this link and this link they are joined by this particular hinge and during this hinge basically they are having surface contact in between them so surface contact means automatically they are lower pair so now in most of the cases as we see that in practice pin joint or hit joint is one of the joint which is for most versatile so they become generally lower pair so right now we are discussing about lower kinematic pairs and all and we already know surface contact or area contact it is there in case of lower pair and what about higher pair in higher pair it is we have either point or or line contact point or line contact in case of higher pair okay so now already we have discussed so about different uh, types of you can say lower pairs based on relative motion so once again i am showing some figures now so the commonly used lower pairs they include some revolute pair prismatic pair screw pair cylindrical pair spherical pair planar pair etc so now this particular figure shows revolute or turning pair so basically this is the pin or hinge sign similarly in this end also we can have we can connect another member or another element okay but right now we are talking about element one element two that is link one link two they constitute a pair and they are connected at this joint with a revolute right, with a pin joint okay and because of this the constraint is or you can say the allowed movement is it this particular link with respect to link two it can turn okay or maybe link to this one with respect to link one they can also turn and this position it is the hinge or the pin which is connecting them it allows this particular movement and what kind of movement it allows relative movement which is relative to turning in nature so here degree of freedom one generally these things you can see similarly prismatic player or the slider player so what basically happens here so here this element and this element so what kind of movement they can have it can slide here okay and they are having this surface contact okay so this kind of planar this prismatic pair so they are known as prismatic pair also okay so here also the equilibrium freedom is one sliding kind of thing right or in case of in case of our case it is slider pair also and whatever slider crank mechanism we have considered so here with respect to this we can consider as if this red portion is as if the guide okay and this guiding is move this gray bar okay this red guide guides the movement of this red bar and consider like that also that means it is constrained to move only along this direction in other direction this direction or other direction it cannot move so here only it can move Similarly, we can have the screw pair, which is very evident. Just like you can try considering your screw or not. Okay, so those kind of pair it constitutes screw pair. And once again, the surface contact is evident here. That's why they are lower pair. Similarly, we can have cylindrical pair from the figure itself. It is very evident. So similarly, we can have spherical pair. Just like I have given you the example of your that joystick. Yes. So it's like that. Okay, here in all the co coordinates, in the in degree of freedom is three. Okay, it is in the space. It can have different movements, just like ball and socket. Planar pair or flat pair we can have. So this kind of context sometimes it may have. So here also degree of freedom is three. Why three? Because see the red portion that is the this one. Okay, it can slide suppose along this direction, maybe along this direction. Also about the x is about the plan x it can rotate like this also or that whatever you consider so it has got three this kind of uh, or three degree of freedom independent movement okay similarly we have higher kinematic pairs so higher pairs they have either line contact or point contact so generally in cam mechanism gears ball and sock, uh, roller bearing etc so those are the uh, example of some higher pairs because in the, those cases we have only either point contact that is between the pair between the element in the pair so they will have only pair point contact or line contact okay now 
uh, for planar motion both line contact higher pairs and point contact higher pairs have two degree of freedom okay and uh, generally what happens a pin in slot join rolling contact with sliding that is it's also a higher pair with a line contact between the pin and the slot in the next figures it will be evident so in this uh, GIF you can very easily see so in the first figure left figure it shows this kind of you can say cam and follower mechanism which we will discuss later on so this is the cam you can consider this is one type of follower this is another type of follower okay just for the sake of understanding we are showing like this in general case it may not be like this so here we have this guide okay this is the guide okay this is one knife edge kind of follower okay so see what happens so based if you see the contact here or here so if suppose this is one this is link two this is link three okay so link one and link two they are in contact here and what will be that particular contact the particular contact is a line contact along that line similarly that is the case evident for one and three okay so similarly in this particular case if you see one cam and follower mechanism we have shown which might be uh, like in case of your engines suppose you can consider that rocker arm and all okay or maybe this is the piston that it, this particular cam is operating this is the cam this is the follower okay through this rocker arm basically this piston is working okay after the piston this valve okay so suppose opening and closing of valve in case of IC engine so those are generally accomplished by this kind of cam and follower mechanism now here this cam and this particular follower okay this is once again this is a kind of a higher pair it constitutes okay similarly about kinematics one we have already considered so it's a assemblies of links by means of pairs okay and when one link of a kinematic chain is held fixed so this constitutes a mechanism okay so that means from kinematic chain and when we obtain a mechanism by fixing one link okay so that fixed link becomes the either fixed link or ground link or also the frame okay similarly we can have closed chain mechanism or open chain mechanism also okay so here in this particular case in this particular case how we can say this is close because I have already discussed so as from the uh, hinges of from the figure it is evident this is fixed okay this is fixed position this is fixed position so all these positions can be considered like I can it is similar to this okay this particular position if I show like this it is having the same meaning so it constitutes a close chain similarly all those you can say the robotic arm and all industrial robots and all they are kind of example of open chain mechanism okay so this is one of the example you can give okay so here also some of the examples are being shown okay and the lower figure is the slider kind when we have already discussed so slider can chain and from there we can obtain the slider crank mechanism so this from the figure it is evident this is the crank this is the connecting rod this connects this connecting rod connects the crank with this particular slider okay and now we can have this fixed positions and all or this guiding guides we can have and we can have the slider crank mechanism okay and here we are showing one hyper linkage one this is the ground link two then three okay this is the ground link one this can be considered as two this third link fourth link and fifth link so this is a five link mechanism okay similarly open kinematics when we are showing this is one of the example industrial robot fanuc robot so this is the ground position we have the other position which is open so about planar power mechanism this is one of the most basic one so uh, most basic of all mechanism which is obtained it is obtained from four bar saying and all are like uh, from the name itself it is evident there will be four different links okay so these green parts they are the fixed position okay they can be considered they will be numbered as one one same number okay that means they consist one we can consider like this also same meaning okay one two two three and four four links okay and what are the joints they are joined by this pin joints here one and the pin join pin or hinge join so they generally consist of the lower pair okay and because of pin join the movement will be turning in nature so they consider turning pair okay 
and one of the simp this is the simplest one okay simplest mechanism you can come across and in the next classes we'll be discussing next video we'll be discussing about mobility of mechanism or how to find out the degree of freedom and all okay thank you